Are you hungry? I am super hungry, yes. What do you want to eat? An omelet, maybe. If we eat here, an omelet. But, yeah, and some fruit. How does it feel? The water felt great. Not too cold. Not too cold. This is not sponsored, but staying at Princess Maya was definitely a highlight of our time in Huatulco. We loved the amazing pool that overlooks the ocean, as well as the on-site restaurant called the Zima Lounge. They had a variety of healthy options on their menu at affordable prices. We actually ate here multiple times during our two-night stay. Another awesome highlight is that Princess Maya is only about a 10-minute walk to the Chedarawe grocery store, so you can pick up water, snacks, or whatever else you may need without calling a taxi. Nightly prices of rooms are also affordable and range from $69 to $80. I highly recommend staying here if you're planning to come to Huatulco in the future. Now we're going... We're leaving okay. Princess Maya. We've had Princess Maya. Princess Maya. We had a really nice stay though. Yeah, it was really, really incredible. Very good place, let's go. Good morning guys. We just checked out of Princess Maya Hotel. It's been a really nice stay. Um, and we're just eating breakfast here at the hotel. I ordered another omelet because the omelets are super good. And William got a club sandwich. Oh, thank you. And then we're just we're just sipping on some coffee right now. Which is essential coffee. the breakfast are you excited to go to Puerto Angel? Yeah I'm kind of sad to leave Watuco though. Yeah it's so nice with yeah. this really nice view. We got in a taxi and began our journey over to Puerto Angel which is a very small town on the coast of Oaxaca located about 30 miles north of Crucicita in Watuco. Puerto Angel. We just checked into Hotel Cordelias and I'm going to show you guys the room. When you first walk in, we have the bathroom right here. And then we have the standard room with the beautiful sea view. Really, really awesome view. You can see the edge of the beach that way. And then there's a cool little area over there. I think we're gonna go snorkel there later. But overall, this is really beautiful. It's been a few hours since I last made an update. We just got back from snorkeling. It was super nice actually. Uh, the water here in Puerto Angel is a lot warmer than in Huatulco, um, so that was nice. I think we're going to walk around the town a bit here in just a moment and then probably get something to eat later. We 
we just paid a deposit for a boat trip for tomorrow morning. We're gonna have to wake up super early because the boat leaves at 6 a.m. They're gonna take us to some spots to snorkel. Um, so that should be fun. I'm excited about that. And for right now, I think we're gonna go walk around and try to find a restaurant to eat at. So I'm super hungry right now. So our plans to explore the town of Puerto Angel took a different direction. We ended up at a bar on top of a mountain watching the sunset while drinking margaritas. But how did we end up here? Like Colin, we met Colin yeah, yeah. here. He <laughs> gave us the ride up to one of So the William met a guy named Colin right outside our uh, hotel who invited us to a trendy bar named Blue Bay to watch the sunset. We accepted his invite and ended up having a great time. Blue Bay is a popular spot in Puerto Angel to watch the sunset and they have great drinks as well. This is me ordering a second margarita actually. In this clip, they were playing a copyrighted song so I had to mute the audio, but I was basically just saying that we were having a nice time, enjoying the music and drinking good margaritas. By this point, we were starting to get a little hungry, so we decided to take a taxi back into town to find a restaurant. The taxi. I'm ready, I'm hungry. Me too, let's go in the taxi. Are you full? Yes, yeah, tired and full and <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was a nice day, very nice day. Jellyfish? Yeah. What is that? What is it? I'm afraid to put the gold in there. You could do just at the surface. Did you see that blue thing? Yeah, I got it on my camera. We had been cruising for about an hour and a half until our boat captain decided to stop and anchor at Playa Esta Cahuite. And let me say, this is one of the most stunning beaches I have come to on the coast of Oaxaca. The water had an incredible turquoise color with amazing visibility that rivals beaches I have been to on the Yucatan Peninsula in the Mexico Caribbean. Finally, the time had come for our snorkeling adventure and I couldn't wait to jump in and explore the ocean life.
it, we didn't have high expectations for this boat trip because it cost 300 pesos, which is only $15 USD per person, but we were blown away by how awesome the snorkeling was, so I cannot recommend it enough. They sell tickets at Playa Pantheon, where Cordelia's restaurant is located, so if you're someone that likes to snorkel and wants to spend time in a location that's more low-key, then Puerto Angel is the perfect place to visit. Welcome back. Hmm? Welcome yes. back. Bienvenidos. How did you like Puerto Angel? Very nice. Very nice view. Good snorkeling. And um, <laughs> what else? I don't know. Yeah, the snorkeling was amazing. The water here is so beautiful. The clarity of the water is amazing. So we got to see a lot of cool things underwater like starfish, jellyfish. And yeah, I kind of don't want to leave. Yeah. The town overall has a really relaxing vibe. It's very beautiful. It is time for us to leave Puerto Angel. We had a really nice stay here at Cordelia's hotel. And I believe next we're gonna be going to a nearby town called Masunte. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see more videos from me.